Hey folks, we're doing something a little bit different on my channel. I figure I'm going to integrate an occasional airsoft gun video in just to uh, kind of change things up a little bit. I know a lot of people uh, like airsoft. A lot of people are into it. Some people are really into it. Some people like to do it casually. Some people really get into it. They get all the types of gear and, and invest a lot of money into their uh, airsoft guns and support equipment and such. Um, I'm just going to look at it from the budget side for now and just for fun. I'm not looking at it as a venue for training or anything. I'm just looking at it from a standpoint of just going out and having fun, uh, getting a little bit of a workout, and just spending quality time with either friends or family. But uh, with that said, this is an interesting little budget option. Uh, it's a shotgun, Springer shotgun. And... Uh, this thing cost me $29. It's a ZM61. It's uh, made in China. And it's a half metal, half plastic shotgun, pump action. It fires a standard 6mm BB. And I'm kind of impressed with the quality of it, considering I only paid $29 for this thing. It's pretty light. It's nowhere, you know, I'd put it about three quarters of the weight of a uh, Mossberg 500 which uh, Mossberg 500 find, uh, 590, excuse me, is uh, probably about the equivalent. That's what this thing seems to be kind of modeled after. The, um, the gun itself right here on the Tang safety, it's not really a safety. You push it back and it's a port for loading BBs. It's a 100 round gravity fed magazine. And uh, this does have a kind of a slam fire capability. So you can pump the action, fire one BB, or you can hold the trigger to the uh, to the rear, work the pump, and every time you work the pump, it'll fire a BB. Now you can pump it twice before firing, and it should load two BBs. Uh, that's so I've heard from other reviews. I haven't messed around with it myself. I just got this not too long ago, so I'll mess around with it and see how it goes. Um, but shotguns, this seems to be a good way to get into airsoft. Uh, from what I've noticed with my very meager experience in the sport uh, just because you know you don't necessarily need to get them set up to be a gas gun or an electric gun this is just a spring gun so it's quiet it's simple and it'll work just for casual airsofting one thing that I think is funny um, I'll show you here on the packaging and I kinda get a kick out of it because of the pigeon English and the translation here uh, I want to show you this kinda tells you you know what to do pull up the bullet cover and load bullet and then uh, the gun barrel O's push backward then send it back and then variable hop-up system um, or actually no variable hop-up system over here turning rear sight regulate will move the sight up or down but this really makes me uh, laugh right here when the trigger is pissed the BB bullet will be discharged. That's uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny right there. So, got to hand it to the uh, pigeon English there. The poor, poor, uh, poor translating job there that the Chinese did. But anyway, there it is. ZM61. And I'll probably do some videos in the backyard with this thing. Just a fun toy. If anything, my son will get a kick out of it. So, alright, there it is. Simple, budget, little, fun airsoft gun.